Bonjour guys, I'm Adam Caesar. This is another episode of Project Black T-Shirt. Today we're going to be talking about the French Belgium co-production Raw by Julia de Kernow. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we've got a couple more French names to say, and I'm sure that not all of them are going to make it. What's the most extreme film you've ever seen? Raw is not that for me, but it is a mighty extreme movie, and it is a movie that got a rise out of a lot of people uh, at a lot of different film festivals. We're going to talk about why I think that's a cool thing, uh, and why I think that's kind of unfair to the movie itself. Raw to talk about is to spoil a tiny little bit because if you don't want to know the genre of it, if you just want to know if this is a film you should or shouldn't see, uh, yes, it is a great, great movie. Spoiler alert up front. You can stop watching now and if you want to come back and watch a little later once you know what the movie's about, you can. But I'm going to spoil it up front and tell you a little bit. Uh, this doesn't happen until like the 30 minute mark of the movie, but this is a movie about cannibalism, but not in the uh, traditional cannibal film sense. This is not a, this is not an Italian cannibal film. This is not a Euro cannibal film in the way that we're traditionally used to thinking about them, which is usually kind of racism and animal cruelty mashed up together. This is um, something completely different um, and something completely original and and a, and and a real treat. Um, 2017 is kind of. Uh, we're we're only you know a week into March, and I feel like it's uh, really swinging for the fences as far as uh, great horror films, especially great horror films in theaters. Because we already had Get Out, which was fantastic. I didn't get a chance to make a video about it because I was busy and I was in Terracon. Uh, and now I think we have our second great horror film of 2017 with Raw. This movie is maybe I'm maybe I might be overselling it for you because it is the perfect cocktail of things I like in film. I like movies that are um, that are extreme, and it's certainly that. Uh, I like movies that are that have a, a real emotional resonance to them and characters I can care about, which it definitely has. I like movies that have like thematic density, and and, and this movie is kind of like I feel like people are going to be writing papers about it forever because you can just kind of really dig your hands in there. And I like movies that have that that have a sense of humor, and and I think. I haven't really read a lot of reviews, but I know the general buzz around Raw, and I don't think that's going to be something a lot of people are focusing on, um, because this was a film that premiered in, 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 I think it was Toronto, and, 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 and another international film festival, and people were feigning and throwing up and walking out of the movie, um, so that's kind of going to be the conversation around this movie, is how quote-unquote extreme it is, or isn't, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's not... Uh, this isn't something like from the, the that French new wave of extremity. This isn't like, uh, which is, I guess, is someone's term. I don't know whose. But uh, this isn't high tension. This isn't frontiers. This isn't inside. This is not a gore fest. This is a film that has gore in it, but is uh, much more concerned with uh, interpersonal gruesomeness and cruelty and sensuality. Everything's, everything's about touch and feeling in this movie, even the violence um, and the sex and... and I, it's great, and I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because I haven't really talked about what it's about. Um, so, plot synopsis. Our protagonist, a, a young girl named Justine, she's going to this, um, this, this veterinary school, this elite veterinary school in France. Her older sister's already there. She's a couple years ahead of her. Um, she's living in the dorms. She's being hazed. She's played by Garant Marier, and again, I know I said I was going to butcher these names, but I think I, I looked that one up. I think I got it pretty close. Uh, but... Uh, this is an incredible performance uh, from Marier. She's, she's, she is she uh, is she is on screen for most of this movie, and and her performance is 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 is, is manic and, and 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 brutal and and like makes you afraid for her in the film because it's got that kind of uh, intensity that people seemingly put in actual peril and actual pain, and you're like, what? Is this director doing to her like this is uh this is one of those kinds of movies and 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 it's a performance uh that you know she probably she may not have had a tough time making the movie but it's a performance that is that is is, is grueling and 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 fantastic so she's she's a, she's a young veterinary student who comes from a family of veterinarians both of her parents are veterinarians and it's it's clear that they've gone through the same program and gone through the same hazing that her and her uh, sister are doing, and her sister are, are brought up strict vegetarian. So she gets to this um, this veterinary school, and part of the hazing process is eating uh, 
rabbit liver, raw rabbit liver, uh, kind of just making them eat something gross and then drink to excess. And that sets off a kind of chain reaction that she has this quasi-sexual uh, awakening that involves um, the desire to eat uh, raw meat and then kind of graduates to cannibalism and we see how uh, she traverses this and traverses these urges and her n her new roommate they placed her with is, is this gay guy that she's kind of crushing on and it's I'm not gonna tell you anything more about the movie but it, that's the setup and it's it sounds when you say it like that it sounds like it's gonna have like a certain kind of quirk factor to it like a, a Wes Anderson -y kind of thing but it's not that it is it is 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 played uh, incredibly straight and in and the world that we're put in is, is very tactile I was I had mentioned to my friend who we saw the film with um it it, it it captures young people so well because these kids are like real close-ups on their skin and they kind of have like they don't have great skin they're not like Hollywood like made up they're sweaty it, it, they're they're awkward they're they're going to parties and these parties are like halfway terrifying halfway look fun like it's it it, it captures something about young people and the, the 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 both the freedom and the oppression that being all out on your own out from under your parents for the first time like kind of presents to a lot of young people and in that way it's a it's a, it's a fantastic coming of age movie and i'm 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 not a, a i'm not a, a woman so i don't i can't speak to to it firsthand but I, it, it 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 nails something about about femininity and makes me feel I feel like understand something about both like feminine sexuality and insecurity and like uh, um, and 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 the way to you have to navigate it in in this setting and it's it's I'm making it sound heavy and I had mentioned that there are that there are laughs and there is a certain amount of of absurdity and one-upsmanship to the gore and the the lengths at which this girl will go for her next meal um, or does she want a meal? And and this is a movie that I really want to watch again. This is a movie that I, I saw last night at the screening, uh, thanks to Dan Tabor and Geekadelphia for getting me in there. But um, this is a movie that that uh, that I kind of can't wait to revisit. And it opens in, in Philly. I, I think it goes wider. It was last week. It was in New York and L.A. And I think this week it's going wider. And I know Philly's getting it. But this is a movie that you should see in a theater, and it's a movie that, if at all possible, you should probably go to a showtime that's going to have people in it, instead of you being the only person in a the theater, because they think a crowd reaction um, and the uneasy laughter and gas that come along with this movie are, 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 are part and parcel of why it works so well. Wonderfully done. Just, just you gotta go see it. You gotta, you gotta shell out the money, get in the car. I know that's hard for some of us, and I know, you know, it's limited release, so it's not everywhere, but if you have it near you, if you have it in driving distance, if you can take a train to it, um, it's worth, it's worth the night. Uh, it's, a, it's a, a real, uh, gem of a movie. And even if you hate it, even if you like get back and you're like, what the hell did I just watch, Adam? You will have some kind of strong reaction to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's raw. Uh, Julia De, De Cornell. Yeah, I'm looking down at my cheat sheet. Julia De Cornell's, uh, film, uh, wrote and directed, uh, I think it's her first feature. I looked on IMDb. I think she has one uh, TV movie in France, which I would like to see. But um, I, I think it's her first theatrical feature. Um, and she, hopefully she's going to go on and make a bunch more genre films. Because even though this is kind of tangentially genre, I know a lot of mainstream critics will probably try to you know call this an art house film, even though it has moments of extreme genres in it. Um, I think us horror fans kind of got to fight to keep this one because this, this is a genre film and it's... It's working within our genre and doing new things. Um, when I was walking out, I basically, because of that strong college connection and that hazing connection and that fraternity feel to it, um, and the fact that they're in this kind of modernist complex in the way that the, the school is filmed, it reminded me of David Cronenberg's Rabid, like with the high rise there. It's like it's like David Cronenberg's Animal House. It's the closest thing I can think to describe raw. Um, but if that appeals to you, or if that does not appeal to you at all, you kind of know where I stand. All right, for today's book recommendations, I've got a twofer for you. And I've got a twofer that I only have digitally, I don't have paperbacks to hold up, so I'm gonna flash up the covers now. But it's Livy Llewellyn's two short story collections, uh, Engines of Desire, which I think I've talked about elsewhere. I may not have talked about it in one of those video these videos, but I think it's in my cemetery dance column somewhere. Engines of Desire, and, uh, and if I've already talked about that one, Furnace, which is uh, her newer one. 
Livia Llewellyn writes not in a similar tone, but with extreme uh, with similar thematics to uh, Raw. Her main thing is like this weird mix of grotesquery and eroticism um, and, uh, and 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 like horror with 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 um, feminine agency on its mind and in extreme ways. Uh, so again, gonna be gonna be uh, too extreme or, or, or only going to attract a certain uh, subsection of the people that uh, watch this, but you kind of know who you are if you hear those words and you are gonna tune out. It's probably not the books for you, but these are if, if you're a, a, an open-minded reader who's not gonna, you know, kind of uh, be reading on the subway and blushing, um, Libby Wallen's work is, 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 is worth it and, and, and I think would pair well with Raw. I have a couple more books up here that I just recently got that I am going to pair with movies soon, and I will do more videos. I've got uh, We Eat Our Own by Kia Wilson and The Girl from Raw Bud uh, by Cat uh, Catriona Ward. I do want to talk about these books soon, and I, 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 uh, people have been asking about them, and I am going to talk about them soon. Um, as far as I go, as far as News With Me's goes, just this week actually, Exponential. Uh, my third full-length novel was uh, recently re-released re in ebook and on Kindle Unlimited. The paperback will be soon. Brand new cover by Frederick Richardson. I'll pop it up now. If you like my stuff, if you haven't tried my stuff, this would be a great book to start with. It's a monster road novel. It has nothing to do with Raw or uh, Olivia Llewellyn. It's just my own kind of pulpy. If you want to try my uh, short stories, uh, sign up for the mailing list. I'll send you send you a free ebook. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like. If you really like this video, please subscribe. Go back, watch all my other videos. I try to do this once a week. It's been slowed down lately, but I'll get back on the horse, I promise. I'm Adam Caesar. This has been Project Black T-Shirt. Thanks for watching.